so we made it down here to one of our favourite rock fishing spots and conditions are looking pretty spot on. We've got northwesterly winds which means they're behind us so we're actually really sheltered down on this spot. Uh, we're, it's high tide now, we're going to fish a couple of hours of the ebb tide and we've got ragworm for bait, I'll probably use some lures as well, the clarity of the water is excellent. There's no swell coming in as well, very little swell which again is really good. Um, so hopefully you know, we'll get a bite, we're going to use light tackle and um, I'll just go run you quickly through the rig and the tackle that I'm using. Okay, so setup I'm using is a Nomura IC 3,500 size reel loaded with it's about 16 pound braid, quite strong braid because I'm rock fishing. Um, braid's obviously not got the best abrasion resistant properties, that's why I've gone for fluorocarbon leader. But uh, I want strong braid because rats are pretty tough fighting fish and if I land into a big bass or something like that, I can hook that. This is not LRF fishing, this is just you know, light tackle, it's not super light. Rod is again a Nomura IC. I really like these rods. Um, it's 2.1 meters and casting weight 10 to 35 grams, which again means I can get real good action and sport off smaller fish and the bigger fish as well. So time to hook on the ragworm and then get this bait out there. Okay, so just gonna talk about my rig quickly here. Here's the main line break. This is coming straight from my fishing rod. That's going down to, all I've done is just an overhand loop and loop that through the swivel and that's as it, I don't quite remember what size swivel that is about eight or a ten just a small swivel there um, and then I've got 10 pound fluorocarbon uh, which I've tied with a just a simple touch blood knot there and I've got about three four feet of this fluorocarbon that goes down I've gone for the drop shot rig today to a small worm hook again I can't remember the size one or two just real small one um, with a barb, obviously for the ragworm, to keep the ragworm on the hook as well and to get a better hook up. That was tied with just a simple Palomar knot uh, which is pretty much a very common knot for the drop shot rig and that goes down to a homemade DIY weight that Dad's made uh, from lead, DIY, DIY drop shot weight there um, so obviously I don't know what the exact weight of this one is but it's probably about 10 grams, 7 to 10 grams um, there's not a huge swell today so we should be alright. I'll just cast that out, let it sit there and hopefully get a bite. What's Beth catching today? Rass. Rass. Em's got the crisps sorted. Yep. And the ragworm. The feed as always. You're catching ragworm? What are you catching those on? My rods. <laughs> <laughs> get some ragworm out. So what are we going to do Beth? Uh, we're going to weigh some fish today. Are we going to weigh them or do something else? Uh, measure them. Show us what we got. How are we going to measure them? Uh, we got this... Um, the Big ruler. Yeah. So rather than weigh our fish today, we're going to put them up against this and see who's, ca and then, who's caught the longest fish, yeah? Yeah. You put your the nose there. Yeah. And then you measure how long the ras is. Ah. Who do you think is going to get the biggest ras? Me. <laughs> I don't know, Em's tackling up quickly over there. Okay, quick. <laughs> First ras of the day for Beth. Show us, Beth. Was it a good bite? Yeah. I'm you, not eating a sandwich. You, you were halfway through eating a sandwich, weren't you? Yeah. You're gonna measure him? Yeah. So we got we got an 18 centimetre one already. Let's see how long he is. I don't think this is 18 centimetres. Well, let's get his nose up against there. He'll flap around a bit. <laughs> oh. Can you read what his tail is there on the red line? What's that say? Uh, 15. 15. Not bad. M is in. We've all had one rass now. What's it measure? Oh, how high do I do it? Right to the tail. Nose tip. to there, and what's his tail on? Oh, I'd say that's, well. Oh, before he moved it was 16. 16. But now it's 15. 15 or 16, what are we going to call it? I don't know, he's siding off. Oh, you, oh. if you were a true fisherman, you'd call him 16. Yeah. Well done. Uh, right, let's get him back.
there we go. 26 centimetres. Best rush so far. Nicely hooked. And a real orange looking fish, this one. Really orange. Nice colours in it. We'll get him back and then hopefully get straight back out there. Fish are starting to bite now. And we're about an hour before high tide. And gentlemen, we have Rass of the Day by what Miss Smith. Look at this chunk. He is a really chunky one. And he folded that rod over, didn't it? Yeah. Em's on a medium light rockfish rod. I'm Absolute. Using one of Mike's. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. I think you may win the measuring contest. Let's put him on. Okay. Head first. Head first. Oh. <laughs> Sliding round. If I grab his tail, will yeah, it break? Yeah, he'll be fine. No. Okay. What are we saying? Well, he's gone a bit rigid, but I would say... Let the tail go down, push him down. That, he's... What's he on? 31 or 32? 32. 32. 32. Ree! 32, smashed it. Nice one, Em. Decent ras. How big is it? Right. Beth's got a beast. Yeah. Beth has a beast. Right, ready? What's it saying, Beth? It's over um, M's. 32. 32, yeah, 32.5. 32. Uh, oh, 32.5, oh, Em, I'm afraid. Point 0.5 over. It's the bottom bit. Get some water in here. Right, we are back at camp and we've been fishing for wrasse. I think Beth got the longest wrasse, didn't you? Do you remember how long it was? Um, Ems was 32, what was yours? 32.5. 32.5, Beth won the competition. Unfortunately, I got the smallest. <laughs> but it was good fun, we had probably over 15 wrasse in a few hours. And now we're back at camp and we are gonna get the ghillie kettle going. We've used this pretty much every year so far, but we usually use it for, we don't use it as much for tea nowadays, we use it for hot water bottles for the girls because they get too cold and it saves all my gas that I use. So once we get it going, it usually does three hot water bottles quite easily. Um, great little invention, very similar to kind of a Kelly kettle. Uh, you've got your funnel in the middle, the flames come through out the base here and you can put your sticks and things like that in there. We've got our sticks ready, haven't we Beth? Yeah. Beth collected all the sticks. I bought my tinder pouch and some birch bark and Beth is going to start the fire. This is the bit that you're going to light with a match. That'll be enough. That'll be fine. Okay, got it? Hold, you, you put it in. Leave, it, leave that. There you go. Let it burn. Upright. Let it burn. Place it in. Okay, get your other bits on top of it. Gently let them burn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We don't want to put the flame out. Let it all burn. Ready? That's it. Now we'll let that burn a bit first. <laughs> Best being smoked out. <laughs> it's your dodgy sticks you're collecting, Beth. You collected some. <laughs> oh, here we go. When you was on. When I was taking you, you for a tour of my, put my assault course. Yeah, well, Beth's got a little, uh, oh, look, this one's smoke. Yeah, Beth's He's got, got a cool... He's got to learn the way of the wild. The, apparently, yeah. Beth's going to teach me some cool things out there. Yes, as you can see over here behind Beth, Beth Duck. Duck down. And there we have someone doing their makeup. Oh, we're going out later. Oh, dear. Makeup and camping. To a band. <laughs> yeah. Camping priorities over here. Got to get ready, got to look good for all the wilderness folk out there. Meanwhile, Beth, don't have, like, electric have you done your makeup, Beth? No. <laughs> do you like makeup? No. <laughs> do you like girly stuff or do you like the outdoors? I like boyish stuff. <laughs> and like uh, making a fire? Yeah. 
which and is going well. Instead of makeup, I put I put mud on my face. Mud, mud like, mask. It'd be very good for you, Beth. Like Native Indians. Yeah. Are you pleased with your achievement? Yes. <laughs> I am very pleased. Have you enjoyed today? Yeah. That's what it's I all about. I always win. <laughs> In the RAS. In the RAS fishing competition. Yeah. And I always lose for some reason. <laughs> it's, la it's ladies luck I think. Burning good now. Best arranging a bit of wood that I chopped up earlier as well. Getting it all out the gilly kettle bag. Well, not early. <laughs> earlier this week. Blaming on another ball, are we? <laughs> uh -oh. So we've got the killing kettle going, filled up the kettles, girls are happy, they're playing football, and as you see, it's burning pretty well. Um, I keep all my kind of tinder in a little tinder pouch, leather tinder pouch that I made. If you guys are interested in this sort of video, I know it's kind of different for TA fishing, but if you head over to TA Outdoors, Totally Awesome Outdoors, that is our sister YouTube channel where I do lots of this kind of stuff, like the, the, the kind of camping, bushcraft, fire making skills. Um, we've got hunting, shooting, and obviously some of Dad's crazy DIY videos as well. If that's something you're interested in, guys, please head over to Totally Awesome Outdoors. I'll pop a link up just here. Subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the videos.